911, emergency operator 307, what is your emergency? There's a rape, right now. 88 West Franklin. Get away from me! Hello? 27 Charlie, respond to a 1034 assault in progress at 88 West Franklin. No suspect description, line disconnected. Respond, code three. What do you got? 911 didn't get an apartment number, probably a cell phone call. We're knocking on doors. Perp may still be in there. Yeah, if there is a perp, wouldn't be the first prank call. You guys from Special Victims? Yeah. Found this under the fire escape. Lori. Got her, 3P. Special Victims, Benson, Stabler. Hey. How you doing? I heard some crying. Uh, doors unlocked, she's in the shower. I started to go in, but she started freaking out on me, so I backed off. Okay. Thanks. Lori? Gina? It's Olivia. It's filthy in here. That's OK. I'm going to help you. Lori? Please don't come in here. This place is filthy. in the shower. The strain. I want the stuff out of here. What stuff? The stuff that you washed off me. I want it out of here. Lori, this stuff is long gone. You've already washed it all the way. It's OK. It's him. It has to be him. Not so fast. It's been a year since we had Cleary in here as a suspect. Same M.O. Probably came in off the fire escape. He rapes them, asks them if they like it, he bathes them, and then he steals a piece of jewelry as a memento. It's him, Kenneth Cleary. We had him, and we lost him. We couldn't keep him. Not our fault. Until the victim that. Hey. We're going to go out of here. Lori, did you open the window? Yes. The, the night, it was, it was cool. I like to sleep under heavy blankets. He pulled my blanket off me. My shirt was over my eyes. A button got caught in my mouth. He hit me. Then what happened? He tried to kiss her. He tried to kiss me. He yanked that button out of my mouth. He kissed my neck. His lips were dry. My necklace, he, he ripped off. He was inside me. He pushed hard. It hurt, but he kept saying. Is this how you like it? Is this how you like it? He finished. Then he brought me into the bathroom. He made me take a shower. My shirt got wet, heavy. Did you see his face? My shirt was over my eyes. He told me not to look. None of his victims could ID him. Nothing from forensics. It never is with Kenneth Cleary. 88 West Franklin. Get, get away from me! I said get... So maybe two witnesses. Three if you count the dog. Where'd the call come from? Pay phone on Franklin. You call back? Pay phone blocks incoming calls. Lori Thatcher's apartment is on the third floor. You can't see into her apartment from here, though. So who can? Two apartments can see to the right. Look at that. Who is it? Mrs. Walton, New York Police, Detectives Benson and Stabler. Can I see a badge, please? Wrong. We're investigating an assault in the building across the way. Last night, I heard the sirens. No one's home next door. No, no, they're on vacation. How long have they been gone? A week. They're very nice. They give Hank his, his last walk of the night for me when they're here. I hate it when they're gone. Your apartment looks into the apartment where the assault took place. 
I'm blind, detective. Yes, ma'am. But, um, was anybody here with you last night? No. I mean, Billy was here, but just long enough to take Hank out for me. Uh, and what time was that? Well, gosh, I don't know. The news was on. Which news? A 24-hour news. OK, and Billy is? Billy Smith, the young man down in 1G. He's a doctor. Thank you very much. You know, if he's not in his apartment, you might try the roof. You know, I thought I could hide up here. Well, Mrs. Walton gave you up there, Dr. Smith. I'm not a doctor yet. Did you walk Mrs. Walton's dog last night? Yeah, Hank. What time? Uh, 11. Could it have been closer to 12? Could have been 3 a.m. for all I know. I got sleep deprivation, light deprivation, time. You know, if I don't pass this exam. When you walked, Hank, did he bark or lunge at a woman using the pay phone that's right down in front there? He's a guide dog. He's trained not to. Why don't you try the newsstand at the end of the block? Ginger! Right. Down! 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 Down. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> He can't be good for business. I know, but he's great for theft. Yeah, I bet. Last night, uh, did he attack a woman at the phone booth right down at the end of the street there? He never touched her. I had him on the lead. She's got no business calling the cops. Well, actually, sir, we're investigating another matter. Think you could describe her? Uh, blonde. Age? 30, maybe. Uh, thin, but not too thin. Could you describe her to a police sketch artist? I didn't get a look at her face. I was too busy trying to get Ginger into the car. Mrs. Cleary? Yes. Detective Munch and Tutuola. Did you receive a call around midnight last night? Well, it's about time. I've been after the phone company for the past two months to do something about these calls. You've had other calls? Some woman's harassing me. What does this woman say? Your husband's a rapist. Last night, she said he's raping someone right now. Last night, there was a rape in the building by the payphone that call was made from. Was your husband home last night? My husband's not a rapist. Was your husband home last night? Yes. He didn't walk the dog? We all walk the dog. Your phone rings. Someone tells you your husband's raping someone. Then what? I went back to sleep. You didn't call the phone company. I went back to sleep. You didn't tell your husband. We don't both have to be awake for a harassing phone call. But he was here. Yes. I called the phone company this morning. Did they offer to put a trap on your line? Yes, but my husband doesn't want that. They could listen to our personal conversations, and he's involved with private financial matters. This woman is ruining our lives. Why don't you stop her? OK, Mrs. Cleary notified the phone company after each harassing call. They all tracked the pay phone. She said she ignored the first call, thinking it was a prank, right? That's what she said. She just went back a month, found a number in her case file. That first call came from one of Cleary's victims, Harper Anderson. Looks like she's stalking him. Sorry, Olivia. You should be at his place. Not mine. Harper, you can't stalk Cleary. Stalking is illegal. I surveil from a legal distance. Playing with semantics here can be very dangerous. <laughs> I saw him go into the alley. By the time I got to it, he was gone. And I saw the fire escape. Did you see him on the fire escape? No, but it's how he got into my place to rape me. But you didn't see him go up it. You didn't see him rape anyone. No. And yet you called 911. Well, first I circled the building to make sure that there was no way I could have missed him. Then I thought about the probability that he was raping someone. Then I called 911. Why don't you stick around? Because he ran out the service entry right after the sirens. Considered waiting for you guys, but I'd been down that road. So I shadowed him. Shadowed him? Not to be confused with stalked. And this is art not to be confused with obsession or a target? It goes with the room. Have some wine. We're working. 6 p.m. Workday's done. You can have a glass of wine. No, thank you. Oh, Elliot, look. Watch your mind! You stop this! You stop this right now! Get out! You can't do this! Get out! You can't do this! My son will see these! You know where he comes from! You bitch! Harper! You're sleeping with me! Okay, get out of my face! Harper, stop it! 
What's going on? It's safe. Everywhere. Yeah. Look. Right, two nights ago, a woman was raped. I was home with my wife. You're lying. I saw you. But every time a woman's raped, you're going to come to me? Uh, not every time, no. How long do I have to bear the brunt of this woman forgetting to take her lithium? She's obviously damaged. Hey, hey. Hey. Drop it. Don't make me cut you. Perfect. Arrest me. Not the rapist. <laughs>